Hey, this is Movie Edge. This video is going to be about Lauren Hardy short subjects. And I am going to show you everything shorts that I got from Lauren Hardy. Now, in an earlier video, I did show you a Blu-ray because it was under another um, label. These I didn't know where to put because it's they're totally two different labels. So, um, yes. I'm going to show um, this now. This is one of the best sets, in my opinion. One of the best sets. All right? If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Get a hold of me on MovieEdge1 on Instagram. All right, got that done. So this is the Essentials Collection. Is it complete with shorts? Yes, it's complete. With movies, no. Take this out. It's got a nice book feel to it. I don't like the packaging inside though because oh, <clears throat> these discs, they slipped in and out. So I fixed that problem. I'll show you in a second. But see, it talks about each, um, it talks about each short. They should do a Blu-ray set like this. It talks about each short, each movie. They even have whatever was available with the um, foreign language ones. Spanish, French, Italian, German. <clears throat> There's nothing like that on here. But they did make certain ones. French, Italian, German, Spanish, and of course English. So yeah, they, they were working hard on some stuff. Some of the foreign ones were a lot longer than the U.S. versions. They would combine two shorts into one uh, long movie or something for international releases, like in Spain, Mexico, um, France, and whatnot. So, yes, they did do that. There's some special features on here. Uh, on location of the boys, it's a, a tour of their filming locations. Tribute to Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy, they even have a guest appearance by Laurel and Hardy in, um, what was it, two or three shorts. They appeared in uh, Zazu Pitts and Thelma Todd short, which I mentioned in, um, earlier video when I was showing Sprocket Vault, um, Looser Than Loose. They appear at the end of the short. Uh, they appeared in a little rascal short um, with some um, props that were left over from the movie, Bur uh, from the short Bratz. And they appeared as children in this big giant stuff. Um, yeah, Wild Posies which is the um, one where they try to take Spanky's picture, but he keeps freaking out. Uh, and then there's a Charlie Chase short on the wrong track, which Laurel and Hardy, they pass him in a car and they're hitchhiking. <laughs> and that was cool. And then that tree in the test tube, which has, it's a public domain um, agricultural short, but it was the only one they did in Technicolor. Okay. So those are the uh, bonus shorts that are on this set. And uh, I think that's it on here. Um, so yeah, this set is well worth getting. And uh, it's from the what company put this out. What company put this out? Uh, Vivendi, Vivendi, V-I-V-E-N-D-I, -I, Vivendi. Um, RHI Entertainment. So, yes, it is well worth getting, but the packaging sucks on it. But this is the, this set is like the most complete of their talkies. It has all the shorts on there in theatrical order, the movies in theatrical order, and even the foreign films that they made in theatrical order. The only thing that are missing is 
two movies that Warner Brothers owns, The Devil's Brother and Bonnie Scott's, Warner Brothers owns those. They're both Hal Roach features, but they were um, they were distributed by MGM, so I guess MGM had the rights, and Ted Turner sold it to Warner Brothers. Um, March of the Wooden Soldiers, which is public domain, Anybody could put that out, which I don't understand why the movie wasn't on the set. But that one you could find. Uh, I have a MGM DVD of it, which is really good quality. Uh, it's my favorite. Um, I know Legends Films put out a Blu-ray of it. It was in they they colorized it. They also have the black and white version. I don't really care for that one that much. I like the MGM version. So yes, this is well worth getting. If you're a um, collector, I mean, if you don't mind it being region one, it's region one for DVDs and you have a region free player, I highly recommend this. It's gone down in price. So, yes, I'm going to show you what I did with the discs. I got this case off of, I think it was eBay. It fitted it perfectly. It's actually almost as thick as the box almost so i'm like wow this is really cool my intentions was to print out somehow scan this print it out and put it on there i i don't have a scanner or scanner broke so i said the hell with it i might put a blank piece of paper and just write it but i never separate these two boxes okay uh this is what the uh Disc. Do I have this upside down? I might have this upside down. Huh. I don't know how I'm opening this, but anyway, here's the discs. This is what the discs are. They put artwork, different artwork, on each one of these. So, there you go. I don't remember how many, how many um, shorts are on a disc. I don't remember. But, yeah, so as you keep going... As you keep going, some of these have movies, so they get less on the disc. Okay. There you go with that. Music, bo uh, music box should be on there somewhere. There's this. And then this. The, the great thing about this set is they did put extras on it. And one of the extras that I was really impressed with was yes, there is the foreign ones, but if I could find it, it was a short that on the American version, it was cut down to two reels. On the um, uh, version with the Spanish and French, they had three reels. In the American version, they did put the third reel on it. They didn't like it. It, it kind of slowed down the short. So they made another ending to it. If I can remember the short, I would totally tell you. Well, zero. Da, da, da. But yeah, that was a good that was a good thing that they added the third reel, but they added it by itself. Which uh, it really um Annoyed me that they did that because the UK version, they just had both versions, the two reeler and the three reeler together. Um, I can't, I can't remember what's the name of the short now. But if anyone knows out there, um, let me know. But. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. I just can't I can't think of the name of it. But yes, that was a great bonus feature. Next, there's a UK edition that I'm a good friend of Kermit's Ghost, Kermit's Ghost Channel. And I was like, oh, wow, this set is coming out on Blu-ray. I have to see it. Because Universal UK put out that entire big box set, which... Eh, I got it, not not honestly, but I got it, and I, you know, did it the old-fashioned way of 
computer bootleg and stuff, but I have it still somewhere. And they put out this. I thought they were going to put out a series of this. They didn't. Laurel, the best of Laurel and Hardy. Why would you put them crying on the label? I don't know. But um, this includes five films. Blackheads, Our Relation, Pardon Us, Sons of the Desert, Way Out West. Well, some of those I already have. And that's the reason, well, some of mine didn't have, some of them already had. But the reason why I got it was from the movies. The bonus shorts that are on here include Another Fine Mess. I'll tell you in a second why I had a problem with that. Busy Bodies, which I think I have already. On uh, another set, another blue set, and Toad in a Hoe. Those I already have. The music box would have been great on this set. But no. Another Fine Mess, which is right there. The problem I had with that short... They cut out 35 seconds of it. For some stupid odd reason, there was a time where Hal Roach was first starting out talkies, had these two twins that he hired to go across the stage, not a bow, and then say the credits instead of writing them on the screen. It was a great concept for, for, for doing sound. For some reason, the MGM line got cut out it starts the short. It doesn't even give you the title of the short on it. And it goes to these girls walking across the stage. They bow. And all of a sudden, the short starts. I'm like, wait, what? What's going on? So I counted the seconds. About 35 seconds that got cut out. Why? I don't know. Could be a mistake on Universal, um, Universal UK's part. Because I have that actual... UK disc that I downloaded illegally, but still, it's on there. It's actually on here, that short. And um, not any, that, for some reason, it's edited on here. For some stupid odd reason. No, there's no explanation. I can't find it online. If anyone else can find it online, why that happened, let me know. There's no damage to that film, so, yeah. Um, it doesn't really tell you about the restoration project. These are not really restored. These kind of look like DVD versions that were upgraded to Blu-ray. That's it. It was really kind of disappointed. But at least I got one of my favorite films from them. Blockheads. Our Relations. Pardon Us. Pardon Us, they did five times. English, Spanish, German, Italian, and French. But those are not available. I think a Spanish version is available, but it didn't land on any of the sets that I own. Sons of the Desert, I already got on Blu-ray. And Way Out West, I already have it on Blu-ray. So Blockheads, Our Relations, and Pardon Us, I wanted it for that. Pardon Us... I don't even know if it's going to get a release here in the States because if you've seen that movie, you'll know there's some not PC stuff in that movie. And I think just for the times, it, it was funny at the time. But now if you look at it, you're like, oh, it's not, that's not correct. But yeah. that's all for this video. This was a Laurel and Hardy video. Um, I do have... Columbia coming up. I'm going to do the Columbia label. Um, Classic Flicks. I do have that label coming up. And I also have Miscellaneous coming up because I didn't know where to stick some of them because they didn't really have a label uh, that I have other ones from. So, yeah, if you're interested, just keep it tuned here and um, look out for those videos when they're announced. All right, that's it. Comments and questions here like comment subscribe also get a hold of me on instagram at movie edge one remember movies are your best entertainment